What's up? We're at LAX, Tom Bradley. We are about to go through security. Uh, this is Darius. And we are at Tom Bradley International. So, I went through pre SAT check. And it was about 15 minutes ago. Now Darius is going through the regular security. He finally gets through. He's waiting for his baggage. TSA trying to pre-check was easy. You just go through. Don't have to take off your shoes or anything. Darius doesn't have it yet. He signed up for it, but he's gonna get it when we uh, when we come back from uh, from our trip. But now he has to put on his shoes. Get his bag and then he's gonna walk out. Still waiting for his shoes. His shoes is probably being protected. Oh he got so much stuff. Look at this guy. Oh my god, he's limping already. We haven't even passed security yet. Yo, yo, over here, over here. <laughs> I don't know. It's been, it's been like an hour. So it took him like an additional 20 minutes to, to go through regular security. You have to take off your shoes. You got to take off your belt. Look at all this stuff. You see that they had to do body count. Yeah. They, they bend over and... They put me in that little room over there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Raise up your legs. <laughs> Raise up your legs. And bend you over. Oh. <laughs> Did they put a, a glove on and everything? I don't know. At that point, I blacked out. <laughs> I don't know. I'm glad. Me, I'm glad you made it through. You they know. Made me drink something, and then they made me cough. <laughs> so, did they Did they check all your your mechanical items I don't know, in, I can't in the thing? Remember anything? <laughs> Next thing you know, I wake up and like I got my hands up there as, as if I was tied up. <laughs> And then they're telling me to get out of the room, you know? All right, all right, let's do this. <laughs> we pass. <laughs> <That's the laughs> Are you tired yet? <laughs> I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home. Whose bandana is that? Huh? I don't know. You can take it if you want. <laughs> How would I do that? Yeah, I don't know. It's not like I'm hungry. Right, hurry up, I'm hungry. Let's go, let's go to the lounge. Let's go VIP style now. Oh, now you want to go to VIP's Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Okay, we finally ready? All right, let's go. It says everything's tickling. Huh? Oh, right here. I'm going to go to All Gates and the Centurion Lounge. American Express is right here. Right? So you go through here and you go to the Centurion Lounge. That's for American Express. American Express. So there's another lounge, One World Alliance, Star Alliance. And you go up this side, or there's another one on that side. So I don't know which one is yours. It's so long. I think when Dennis and I went out. Yeah. Let's look it up then. In search for the lounge. Hopefully they're still open. And I go up these escalators here. Let's see if we can go up, go up, go up. What's up? I'm tired. You're tired already? Yeah. Hopefully we could get into a, a lounge. If not, then we could go into P.F. Chang and have authentic Chinese food. Oh. <laughs> $40 uh, chow mein and $30 uh, orange chicken. I think there's a lounge over here, Qantas. Let's pretend we are uh, VIP and uh, see if we could get on any of these cool Priority Pass lounges. Oops. 
All right, so no, no, no lounges will allow us in because we're Asian, and uh, they were being <laughs> <laughs> they were being racist, and so now we're gonna go to the most unracist place, is PF Chang's, <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna have some oh, chow mein and orange chicken, and let's see if they'll let us in. This good. Have yourself. Yeah. She had the... Uh... <laughs> group number early. We're group number four. Hello. Hello. Are you ready to go to London? <laughs> and I eat some of those fish and chips. Fish and chips. Oh. It's gonna be terrible. <laughs> Are you ready to go to London? <laughs> it's gonna be a British guy gonna come. Hello, Governor. Hello, <laughs> We are waiting to board our flight. And there's a ton of people are here to go to Heathrow Airport. And hello, Governor. <laughs> Filipino accent. Yeah, hello, Governor. 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 <laughs> look at all these people waiting to go to London. It doesn't look like it's going to be a full flight. Maintain six feet distance. As he struggles to walk by the business class area. Sit down, Darius, sit down. Oh, beautiful, that's good. I'm gonna put like a 0.5 zoom, because it's like too, like too big. Full flight, full flight. The first class of the top world coming. A special welcome to those of you returning from our Architecture Club and for those of you joining us for our One World Alliance part. May I remind you to keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you are seated and it must remain securely fastened whenever the seatbelt sign is switched on. When opening overhead lockers then please do take care as items may have moved and could fall out and cause injury. As a reminder, smoking including e-cigarettes, vaping and the use of other smoking devices is not permitted at any time.
welcome to Terminal 5 Flight Connections. We are going to Amsterdam. Let's see. So, hey Kate, we are transit. Blue minus two. Oh, you are here. You are going to Flight Connections. It's always you. Why are you taking so long at every single thing we do? You gotta take off your belt. Did they do another cavity check? This time, you know. They, they, they make you go. They make you bend over? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> It goes Darius again. He's heading down the stairs. Because the escalator's not working anymore. Always the last to come in. <laughs> As we walk through the corridor, <laughs> we contemplate life. <laughs> Why we are delayed? <laughs> why we? Went down once. Why you have to check in all your luggages? I have to check it out once. One. You have to one take your time. toothpaste out and uh, mouthwash to put in a little baggie. That is our plane. I think it's more inconsistency. The other guy says we didn't have to check it in again, yeah. and then we get here. And I'm